This is the Rebel Call Channel. Welcome to today's show. There's two stories that need to be discussed in this video. Number one is the launch of the new central bank digital currency platform within the next 12 to 24 months. Now, this isn't a surprise because we know Agenda 2030, which has been accelerated to Agenda 2025, is all about the central bank digital currency. At the same time, we know that a major event is occurring this fall revolving around the election because whichever side is chosen to win this fake election, we know the other side is not going to accept it. Now, we know that they're going to roll out the central bank digital currency, but we also know that Donald Trump is going to lead many people into a complete deception that will likely have an alternative central bank digital currency, which could likely be something along the lines of Bitcoin. But one way or the other, there will be an online digital currency. The people who believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and support the what they think is a separation from the deep state by being involved in cryptocurrency because they've made a lot of money investing in it, don't seem to realize that they control cryptocurrency. But that'll be part of the deception ahead. So we have the swift planning launch of the new central bank digital currency platform in 12 to 24 months in America. And again, that'll coincide with a major false flag operation that will revolve around the selection outcome of this year's fake election. And then at the same time in Australia, we're seeing that they're amending the digital ID bill to ensure that the Senate passes the accelerated digital ID. So Australia's digital ID bill is being amended to bring private sector identity service providers into the system within the next two years. This is happening worldwide all at once. Okay, they don't want you to realize it's happening worldwide at once because they want you to think it's organically happening in countries like America and countries like Australia. But the people really pulling the strings are forcing the civilians into a digital ID along with a digital currency, which will lead to full on control. This is totalitarianism at its finest, or as we should, what we should say is at its absolute worst, because never before ever in the history of humanity will a government or tyrants be able to control the civilians like they will with this digital ID and this digital currency. Now, a lot of us believe that this has to do with the mark of the beast. I personally am one of those people that believe that because you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have a digital ID and you're using digital currency. Now, all this stuff will coincide with having a certain something inside of your body that will lead you to being a part of the Internet of Bodies. Okay, so if you don't know what that is, well, think back a few years and then figure out what's coming because, again, they're going to make sure that you constantly have something inside of you and that'll be how you're hooked up to this entire beast system. Don't forget www. Okay, which was founded, the internet, which was founded, some people believe DARPA, a lot of people believe CERN, but we all know it was a government entity that was created, that that WWW stands for 666, and that is the system that this is going to run through, the internet, digital currency, digital identity. So let's start by taking a look at, this is what it looks like in Australia. This is what the type of propaganda that they're putting out to convince civilians over there that the digital ID system is great. It's the same propaganda they're using around the world. This is part of the, the, what's ironic about what you're about to hear, which you've heard me cover many times, but if you're new to it, you probably haven't, new to the channel, is that some of the ways they market the digital ID, of course, is that it's convenient, it's quick, and then they try to use fear tactics like what you'll hear in this video as far as having your ID stolen online. This is something they've planted in people's heads, but the irony of it all is that you're the one who's going to be hacked, not your identity. You, as a human being, will be hackable once this technology, of course, is eventually inside of you. But it starts with the digital ID. This is Australia's propaganda as they're getting closer to accelerating the digital ID by the end of the year. Constantly verifying your ID can be a hassle. Sharing your driver's license, proof of age card, passport, Medicare card, birth certificate and address details puts all that information at risk of falling into the wrong hands. But there's a solution that makes our lives a whole lot easier and our personal info a whole lot safer. Say hello to Australia's digital ID system. It's a straightforward, safer way of verifying who you are online putting you in control of your information and providing a secure and convenient way to access online services. Picture this. 
you're changing jobs, getting a new phone, or applying for a loan. So you have three copies of your private information stored who knows where. Good news. In the future, you'll be able to do all of this without sharing copies of your personal ID documents. Wherever you are, no long queues, no paperwork. And once you've chosen and set up a digital ID, you can use it again and again for services connected to the system. Did you know there's already a lot you can do under Australia's digital ID system? Things like using your MyGov ID to do your annual tax return or setting up your access to claim back childcare costs online. In a world where cybersecurity is top of mind, the digital ID system safeguards your personal information and saves you time when you need to verify your ID online. Australia's digital ID system brings together government and industry digital IDs that meet strong privacy and security standards. This will mean more secure digital ID options for you to choose from and more ways for you to use them. So why not join some of the millions of people already verifying their ID through Australia's digital ID system? So, of course, there's opposition parties, but the opposition parties are all controlled, too. This is the problem that we're having in America. So this so the articles out there that are talking about the biometric update, because this is a biometric system, is that op opposition parties, uh, the coalition and Greens had signaled they would not support the version of the bill, which was approved in the lower house. Rolling the system out incrementally would be a big government approach, according to the coalition. OK, so these people are pretending you hear these people come out in Congress and they sound opposed to it. Donald Trump's doing the same thing because there's going to be an, a, a version two of this. There's going to be two different illusions and they're going to lead you into this. That's why it's so important in America to keep your eye on Bitcoin and the digital currency push in this country. Once they get you online, they have full control. OK, so they'll give the illusion that Bitcoin and a lot of these digital currencies like Ethereum are all separate from the liberals currency, which will be the central bank digital currency, right? So people will think they're free from the deep state because they, and look, they're going to believe it hook, line, and sinker. They already believe Donald Trump. They already believe a guy that's, you know, openly involved with people that are caught up in some of the most disturbing lifestyles you could possibly imagine involving young children, which we can't go into on this channel. I just covered it over on my website, talking about a lot of these guys who portray themselves as patriots who are really just as involved as the Democrats are. They're working the people. So let's look at these two stories. Let's start here with the no racial identifiers in the digital ID, because this is a this is one of those things you have to keep an eye on and how they lure people into this stuff. Right. Finance Minister Katie Gallagher rejected proposal to amend a prohibition or including racial identifiers with the incoming Australian National Digital ID. Australia's domestic payment organization, which is called AP Plus, has been resisting the proposed ban on embedding racial identifiers in the draft legislation on the country's upcoming national digital identity. These are all things that they're using to bait people. OK, equality, racial stuff, gender stuff. This is all to bait you. They're literally convincing you that you need to want enslavement. And these people are going to be begging for it. They're going to be asking to be enslaved because they're going to think because of all the deception going on, all the psyops going on. That, well, you know, it doesn't see skin color. You know, AI governance doesn't see skin color anymore. We don't have to worry about those police officers arresting black people deliberately, knowing it's going to make national news so we can get everybody convinced to turn on the police, even though the police are the fraternal order of the Freemasons. Don't worry about that, because with AI governance, they don't see skin color. You see, they don't see black people as bad or white people as bad. They see all people as bad. So in Australia, they're trying to convince people that the national banks are trying to do this without having to, you know, having any type of proof on your ID about your actual skin color. Because again, it doesn't matter to them what your skin color is. You're a slave to them, no matter what your skin color is. So it says national banks and biometric testing provider, Big C Lab, have previously raised concerns about rules referring to biometric testing, including a clause banning the collection of racial or ethnic attri attributes. Big C Lab and other testing providers say that the ban prevents them from using such data to assess racial bias in biometric algorithms. The issue of racial identifiers, however, has raised questions about how the digital ID project would manage racial profiling. OK, so now take a step back and think this is stuff I've been trying to get people who listen to my work understand. They've been gaslighting you with these racial things, with these gender things. OK, so that they could come out 
and tell you that it's a world of equality, that it's a world that doesn't see this, it doesn't see that. Everything is equal. And they, people don't even realize that they've been getting worked into slavery, right? So this isn't going to see, they're, they're doing what they can. The national banks are doing what they can to prevent testing providers from seeing bias racial data and people go oh great good so they could hire me they're not going to even see on my id what my skin color so i don't have to worry about getting you know if i go to a store you know they charge black people more money than white people do they oh no they don't so what do you what do you need this stuff to be racially biased well because everybody's race oh right so you see how where all this stuff has been heading and what it's heading towards okay no genders no race one 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 it's the key word in the new world order so the government's decision could present an opportunity for the digital ID, which is designed to enable Australian aboriginals to provide or prove their status if it is considered a national digital ID under the bill. OK, and it will be so all at the same time, we're seeing this stuff rolled out in every single country and people don't realize that we just had a precursor for it. OK, and people out there, you know, I don't understand how people were affected. It makes no sense to me based on their politics the last time around, but it shows you how uh, they've turned people into communists, narcissistic communists, because they're so loyal to their party that they can't see through what these people are doing on both sides, MAGA and liberal side. Okay. Did anybody out there like the fact that they were locked in their homes or they were told they had to go here and put on a diaper over their face? And if you think that and people out there who liked it, something's obviously wrong with you and you might as well not even consider yourself human at this point, but we're already dealing with a lot of people that aren't technically human anymore because their genetic code has been altered. But when we look at this stuff and we give, we think about the control and the power that government's going to wield, people out there don't even realize the precursors, whether it was the trucker psyop in Canada, how they were te- preparing people for their bank accounts to be frozen, shutting down people's GoFundMes, telling people that disagreed with government that they weren't able to access their money in the bank, that it's no longer their money, that it's the government's money. Okay, so Australia is one of these countries that is laid down and it's look, the new world order is going to look different in every country when it's rolled out. Australia is a country that's already it's laid down. It's bent over for the government. They've given up their rights to the government in America. We know what's happening right now, right? We have 50 percent. All Democrats will do whatever government says because they're communists. They don't realize it. The other side thinks that they're free from this stuff and thinks that they're going to be you know, saved by Trump and they're going to go on with the conservatives to the conservative states and these things aren't going to apply to them. They're just going to have different names to it. It's the same way they've tricked us in America thinking that we have free will. Right? You go to the grocery store, you buy Kraft, you buy Stouffer's, I always tell people. It's the same thing. It's the same, the same company owns it. It's the same garbage ingredients. One might taste a little bit different than the other one because maybe it's made with a different noodle. Okay, But it's the same crap. This will be the same thing. It'll be the illusion of freedom in a conservative Republican communist society. It'll still be a dictatorship under Trump on the one side, just like it will be on the other side. Everybody will still think that they're free, but they won't be. So we have to watch and see now as these other countries start rolling out their digital IDs, you will not be able to do anything without a digital ID. And in a lot of these countries, people in America don't realize that the civilians were completely locked out in Australia. I covered it when it went down. That if you didn't have your digital ID and show proof that you had certain something in you, you weren't even allowed to go to the grocery store. And that's what's coming to America. It's coming to all the countries. They're going to force you into this. okay? And they're rushing to do it because they're so adamant on doing it. They're nervous that so many people are waking up to it. So as long as they keep you in the left-right paradigm and they keep you believing that these politicians have your best interest in mind, the civilians will never rise up and stop it. Right? So in America, we're going to see this different variation of it. And all the talking heads who are all MAGA or Republican, every one of these Daily Wire type affiliates that are all CIA ops are going to deceive their audiences and lead them into this. Okay, they're going to pretend they're going to be like, we're not we don't want the central bank digital currency. Why do you think they're calling it the central bank digital currency? They're deliberately calling it central bank so that they could keep conservatives away from it. Because they know conservatives think of this, the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank. They think of the Rothschilds. Uh, many people are awake to that. So they know that they're not going to willingly participate in this. So they're going to think they're free with a different illusion of a central bank digital currency. But it means the same exact thing. And people will be banking off, excuse me, banking online. They'll be doing everything online the same way that these people will on the Democratic side. Unless we stop it from occurring. So 
We have a 12 to 24 month rollout in America for the new central bank digital currency. We have Australia rolling out and they're speeding it up. Right, They're accelerating the digital ID bill to ensure Senate passage. And we know it'll be passed because we know that all of the people in Congress are compromised around the world. How do we know that? Because that's the only reason that this is happening right now is that they have full control. They wouldn't have moved forward with this. They didn't move forward into They have had these plans for a long time. Okay, what do you think? I'm the first to talk about it? No, now everybody's talking about it. The problem is that There's a lot of agents in place, and there's a lot of people that they're promoting on places like TikTok that don't know what they're talking about, that are just easily manipulated into their traps. But people have been talking about this since the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, right? The reason that they didn't do it then was that they didn't have the control that they have now with the internet and technology, and they didn't have a fully compromised Congress. They had to have everybody in place to go forward. So... What they do is they try to make you think that these people in Congress who are now like celebrities in our society, the Ted Cruz types, et cetera, right? Like I've been saying for years, they put these politicians now on late night shows, late night shows. The late night shows used to be for celebrities to go on and shill their new movies. Now they put the the politicians on there. You couldn't pay people in the 90s and the 2000s to watch C-SPAN. That's when the politicians go up and speak in Congress. Now it's like the most viewed stuff on the internet Because everybody's all in an uproar because they think that these people in power have their best interest in mind because they're saying the things that all of us are thinking. But here's the big problem. They're not doing anything about it. Hunter Biden and his laptop. Saya, why aren't they doing anything about it? If all this stuff's really going on, why aren't they? Oh, well, they can't because they control the deal. Oh, really? Really? Then throw them all out because they're not doing their job. But that's the point. They just keep baiting you into thinking that they're working for you and time is ticking and the time is coming for them to pull the rug out underneath from underneath everybody because they're going to be moving us around like chess pieces in the next couple of years. And really, I should be saying the next couple of months, because once the fake elections come, there is a massive, massive operation going down. If you think for one second, for one second, that whatever side they choose to win, that the other side isn't going to separate, then you're not paying attention. Because there's no chance that any conservatives are going to believe that Joe Biden was elected president again. okay? and the other side is going to refuse to believe that Trump was elected because they're going to think it was rigged by Russia or any of these other psyops they planted in their heads. And these people think that they're freely thinking all this stuff is being programmed into them for a major false flag operation to happen with the election. And that false flag is just whatever the fake result is, because none of it's real. None of it. And then we'll see the digital currencies rolled out on each side under the illusion, of course, that your free will is leading you to it. Give me a break. I thank everybody for being here. Hope you're all doing well. God bless all of you, as always, and your families.